This is Indonesia, a country located in Southeast Asia between the Indian Ocean and the Pacific Ocean. It is made up of around 18,000 islands, some 100 active volcanoes, and more than 230 million people who are striving for energy. But due to the increasing pollution levels oil and coal bring to the country, they need to focus on alternative energy sources, one that is clean and abundant in their country, and their solution may be resting right under the feet. It's the geothermal power. Indonesia, being the country with the greatest number of active volcanoes in the world, is only producing a tiny part of energy from them. However, the Indonesian government has recently passed a new law to boost the geothermal energy industry and reduce the greenhouse gas emissions and other problems in the country, but not everyone would agree. How clean is this energy really? What are its implications and how can this affect the environment, the society and the economy of the country? To find out, I will be traveling to some of these massive geothermal plants in Indonesia, where I'm hoping to find some answers and uncover the power under our feet. Indonesia has been producing geothermal energy for more than 50 years. It involves the drilling of deep wells that reach hot rock layers where temperatures are of about 270 degrees. Water is injected through one well that is turned into steam by the heat of the earth and is transported to the surface through a second well with a powerful turbine and into a generator where electricity is produced. This map shows the location of potential geothermal energy resources in Indonesia. These, these white triangles represent the active volcanic reserves and the yellow circles represent the current geothermal energy plants in Indonesia. Now as you can see, only a tiny number of these reserves are being explored and this is due to the fact that the extraction of geothermal energy is actually considered a mining activity in the country and while most of these reserves are actually located in protected forests where unfortunately mine, mine is illegal. But this is about to change. On August 26, the Indonesian parliament passed a new law that is hoped to enhance the geothermal energy industry. Lawmaker Nasrin Kiemas tell us more about this law. Well, the law stipulates an increase in the cost of electricity produced Geothermally to cover the high cost of production. But most important, it stipulates that the extraction of geothermal energy is no longer considered a mining activity in Indonesia. But as we all know, everything we do has consequences. And Dr. Stephanie from the International Center for Geothermal Research in Germany tells us what they are. During the drilling stage, all the noise produced from the loud machinery, transportation of material, or simply from the constant communication between the workers, can significantly disturb the wildlife around the area. Also, we need to have in mind that the plant is going to be built inside the forest. So that area, that portion of the forest is sadly going to be destroyed. But not only that, many local environmental changes such as lapse of silence, seismicity and landslides such as the one in Guatemala in 1991 which took the lives of 23 people have also been recorded. And how about the economic costs of its development? Are they spending more money in its production than what they are supposed to be saving from it? This is a graph from a completed well at the Goschenebeck site in Germany in 2005. On the x-axis we have time in days. On the y-axis of the left-hand side is costs in thousand euro. And on the right-hand side of the y-axis we have depth in meters. Now, as we can see, wealth costs increases almost gradually with time, whereas the drilling progress decreases with larger depths. This is because with larger depths more energy and material replacements are required to break through the hard rock and a total of up to 23 million dollars in costs is often calculated. So the costs will increase rapidly 
whereas the progress not so fast. So why should we invest in this energy knowing that it causes damage to the environment and its development is actually more expensive than a normal coal fire power station? What are we gaining from it? Well, according to this table from Dr. Ronald DePipo, hydrothermal plants or geothermal plants are the least greenhouse gas emitters compared to other energy types in the world. But there is more. Thanks to this, the health and the standard livings of the society can improve, creating more jobs and more clean energy available in the country. The geothermal energy industry faces many challenges that can have an impact on the environment, the society and the economy of the country. Now that I have a better understanding of the geothermal energy process, I realize that nothing is as simple and as easy as the media tells you. While it is true that geothermal energy has more positive impacts than non-renewable energy sources, its implications and applications require careful and precise analysis in order to reduce its negative impacts and categorize it as a clean energy source.